The HAL Tejas MK2 isn't just a refined version of its predecessor, it represents an entirely new chapter in India's aviation journey. Developed under the Make in India initiative, the MK2 aims to give the Indian Air Force a truly indigenous, modern fighter capable of standing alongside global 4.5 generation jets like the Rafale or Gripen E. The aircraft's expanded frame, improved aerodynamics, and upgraded systems make it not just a combat machine but a technological symbol of self reliance. With HAL and ADA working closely together, the MK2 brings lessons learned from the MK1 and MK1A into a platform designed for superior agility, endurance, and adaptability across multiple combat roles. From a design standpoint, every aspect of the MK2 has been carefully enhanced to deliver performance and reliability. The enlarged airframe allows for more internal fuel, meaning greater range and longer missions without needing refueling. The aircraft's composite construction ensures it remains light yet strong, improving its thrust-to-weight ratio and flight dynamics. The use of advanced composites also minimizes radar signature, making it harder for enemy radar systems to detect. The canard delta configuration is one of the key design changes, improving maneuverability and lift while also stabilizing the aircraft during high G turns. In simpler terms, the MK2 can fly farther, stay in the fight longer, and react faster than the original Tejas. The heart of any fighter jet is its engine, and the Tejas MK2's GEF 414 INS 6 turbofan is a powerhouse built for speed and performance. Delivering close to 98 kN of thrust, this engine allows the aircraft to push beyond Mach 1.8 with remarkable acceleration. Pilots can rely on quick throttle response during combat scenarios, especially in dogfights or rapid climb maneuvers. Future variants may see collaboration with Safran to produce an even more powerful 110 kN engine, potentially leading to improved climb rates and higher top speeds. The MK2's superior thrust capacity, combined with its lighter airframe and aerodynamic refinement, makes it one of the most capable indigenous fighters in its category. Inside the cockpit, the Tejas MK2 offers a completely modernized experience for the pilot. The wide touchscreen multifunction displays replace older dials and switches, offering real-time data integration for flight, navigation, and weapon systems. The side stick controller and hands-on throttle and stick HOTAS, system give the pilot full control without needing to divert attention from the battle. Enhanced situational awareness is further supported by a wide-angle head-up display and helmet-mounted display that projects crucial information directly onto the visor. These features together make the cockpit environment intuitive, reducing workload and enhancing reaction times during high-pressure operations. Weapons capability has seen one of the biggest upgrades in the MK2. With 11 hardpoints, the jet can carry an impressive mix of air-to-air -air and air-to-surface weapons. It's designed to integrate both indigenous systems like the Astra Beyond Visual Range Missile and BrahMos-ing, as well as international weapon systems for export versions. Its ability